You want to squeeze that one? Hi guys, welcome to a What I Ate Today Pregnancy Edition. This is my third vegan pregnancy and I get a lot of requests to share what I eat in a day while I'm pregnant. So here it is for you. So at this time, we were staying on the Big Island for a couple weeks at a friend's house with another family visiting their home as well. So there was a total of seven boys in one home. It was intense to say the least. It's one thing to meet up with friends for a three hour play date and it's a completely other thing to live together 24 seven like one ginormous never ending play date inside a home. The dynamics included personality conflicts, huge messes, multiple strong-willed personalities, fighting, both physical and verbal, screaming, yanking toys out of each other's hands, etc. But there was also so much on the other end of the spectrum going on, learning how to coexist and share life creatively together. And it was beautiful to be a part of. Uh, yeah. I shouldn't just before you turn a page. Mm. It's a package, but uh, you probably saw that coming. It's me, Garfield, and Dex. If you want to see the post I did on IG sharing more details about this experience, I'll put the link to the IG post in the description box below and you can follow me at Ellen Fisher. Okay, so let's get to the food. Every time I'm pregnant, I crave cold water with lime or lemon. I tend to find that after about seven or eight weeks pregnant, I start to have a hard time drinking lukewarm water. So in order for me to keep hydrated and enjoying lots of water while pregnant, I find that chilling my water in the fridge and adding lots of lemon, lime, and even cucumber to my water makes it taste really good to me. Plus, there are a lot of minerals in the lemon and lime, which makes it an added bonus. This morning, after drinking a liter of water, I cut up a plate of organic papaya. I love tropical fruit so much, and the Big Island's fruit abundance is amazing here, and way more affordable than Maui's produce prices. I like to add lilikoi, also called passion fruit, on my papaya, or lime if I don't have any lilikoi on hand. I was about to eat this beautiful plate of papaya when I realized the boys wanted papaya as well. Oh, what was that? You guys want to share papaya with me? Papaya! What are they doing? Hey, do you want some too? Sure. Sure. Mm. Yeah, that's the lilikoi. Want some too? So they ended up eating most of the papaya, and I reached for something else. Can I eat some of my breakfast too? <laughs> Since the boys ate my papaya, I had a big bowl of longans for breakfast. Also called dragon eyes, the best way I can describe them is the taste is like a grape on steroids with a hint of caramel. Crunchy and sweet, they are so delicious. But it's important to note that longans are super low in calories, only about two calories per longan. So even eating a large serving bowl of longans is not going to satisfy me for very long. So I kept this in mind and made sure to eat a calorie rich grain smoothie shortly after when I felt hungry again. Dreams you do. I've been thinking about Then we packed up the kids and went to the beach where I enjoyed a large meme sapote. 
Memi Sapote tastes like a creamy sweet potato. They are super dense, filling, and satisfying. It's definitely in my top five favorite fruits, so I gorged on a lot of Memi Sapote over the weeks I stayed on the Big Island. And you know, I encourage you not to let fear be put into you about eating fruit while pregnant. Processed sugar and fruit are not the same thing. Fruit is filled with fiber, minerals, antioxidants, vitamins, and healthy carbs to fuel your day. Did you know that pregnant women who are vegan have a much lower risk of having diabetes, including gestational diabetes? I'll put some links to scientific journals, the NIH site, and other resources to check out yourselves. So I also enjoyed a few bananas with peanut butter that the moms had brought to the beach, and then we headed home for the afternoon. Do Once we put the younger kids down for a nap, I prepared large salads for the moms and Elvis who wanted one too. Getting those greens in, especially while pregnant, feels so good and promotes good digestion along with getting your mineral consumption up. The first trimester tends to be really hard for me to eat many greens, so I just want you to know that I'm with you right there if you also have similar food aversions. Once I get into the second and third trimester, I am able to eat greens again and I get them in as much as I can, but also stay gentle on myself for those days where a salad just doesn't sound good. Don't sweat it if there are certain days you just can't stomach getting greens in. This particular week, I was craving curly kale like no other, so I came up with this salad that totally hit the spot for me and made it easy for me to enjoy chewing greens. ideas for filling healthy foods if eating lots of fruits and raw veggies throughout your day isn't your thing or you simply don't have access to quality fruit include oats like oatmeal or oat granola quinoa beans sweet potatoes squashes etc check out my ebook linked below to our family's favorite meals both raw and cooked including loads of warming meal examples that are our family's favorites to include for dinner there are so many ways to eat a healthy vegan diet find what works for you and helps you feel your best Every one of my pregnancies has been slightly different in food preferences, and I really just like to go with the flow. That make you happy? Make you happy? Sandy's awake! Hi! Hi, Sandy! Oh my gosh. How was your nap? You want some salad? It's right there if you want some. I want to go to the store to get some veggies. Yeah, what do you want to do for dinner? Veggies? Uh, I was gonna get somebody out. I have zucchini. You can look in the fridge. Okay. I bought some zucchini. <laughs> Andrew made a curry dinner for all of us this night and it was so good. We poured the curry over boiled taro, a traditional Hawaiian root vegetable, but this dish would taste just as delicious over regular potatoes or rice. Taro is a kind of funky looking root vegetable, maybe not very appetizing looking to many upon first sight, but we find it very delicious and I love that the taro is grown locally where we live so we enjoy it often. Natasha made baked sweet potato pizza fries to enjoy on the side by seasoning sliced sweet potatoes with Italian spice and baking them in the oven. Baking or boiling sweet potatoes and regular potatoes are a great way to get healthy, high-calorie plant foods into your body. They are health-promoting and so satisfying. So I mashed up some boiled taro, then scooped spoonfuls of the coconut curry over top. I squeezed a ton of lime juice on top and enjoyed it with a side of sweet potatoes and lettuce leaves. You can get the full recipe to this curry dish served over potatoes, rice, or taro in the description box below. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, 
Yeah. I'm excited to catch this. Okay. You're on the water and then you're ready. You got it! I got it! And you're on the way. You're on the way. You're on the way. You're on the way. How is it? Is it yummy or is it yummy?